Hey guys, welcome to part two of Christmas cookie decorating. If you haven't seen part one, I'm gonna link it on the top right, but watch that after this video. We've got something to do, guys. If you recall, last week I had quite a an experience making cookies. Flower just went in my eye. <coughs> I think I breathed it in too. So we left off last video with the Christmas tree cookies. I was decorating them with royal icing and I actually also tasted some of the cookies. You know what? It tastes great with the icing. Wow. Oh my gosh. Delicious. Wow. If you didn't already guess where I'm from based on my accent, you certainly can guess now. We ended up with these three Christmas trees. I'm putting some sparkles on the snow patches of this tree, and then I'm adding some bulbs to the tree branches of this one. I also added some tree bark in brown to the bottom parts of the tree. And this is where it gets exciting. You can see right here I'm using a paint, but it's not a real paint. It's a metallic sugar paint. They've finally done it. What? What have they done? The paint. You can eat it. No! Why didn't anyone tell me this existed? My dreams, they've come true. I can finally eat the paint. Heh. <laughs> yes, you've heard it right. Can I eat this? Yes. Enough said. Okay, we're moving on to the next cookie. This one is a snowman. So to give you some context here, I have two different types of icings. The first icing is a thicker icing that doesn't have as much water and is used to outline the cookie. After the outline icing has hardened, I used a second icing that was very watered down to fill the center of the cookie. Basically, this outline icing serves as like a barricade or like a wall to keep all of the watery icing inside. I also used a toothpick to make sure the flood icing was nice and smooth. So I let that icing harden for about 30 minutes and then I went back in with an outline icing and did the detail work. What does she got? A carrot nose, two eyes made out of coal, a, a scarf, and we could not forget about her knit hat. She has a beautiful knit hat with some very fine details. And my absolute favorite part of this is the hands. She's just contently holding or hovering her hands over her stomach. She looks very content. Maybe she's a mother to be? Who knows? Moving on to the next cookie, it's a heart. So I outlined this kind of badly, but that's okay. You can kind of fix your mistakes with a toothpick a lot of the time. And then I filled it with the flood icing and fixed that up. And my idea for this one was basically what if, since it's like a winter theme, I thought let's do some snow on our heart and make it look like drippy melted snow. Like our hearts are melting for someone or something like that in the snow, get it? On to the next one. I think we can all agree. I've had some bad experiences to say the least with gingerbread men in the, uh, the past couple of weeks. <laughs> oh, oh my God, what the? But you know what? Things are looking up here, guys. This one, I actually didn't hate as much as I've hated the other ones. So I went with a drippy snow theme. Everything is just melting on this man. What? I gave him some eyes and a mouth, and I gave him some buttons and a little bit of zigzags. Bada bing, bada boom, there he is. He looks like he ate something weird, but we can't all be winners. Up next, we have a nice Christmas bulb. I actually decided to cut the tip of the Christmas bulb off because I wanted to make it into something else, something nicer. Look at this icing. I mean, this has got to be the peak of the video. I mean, this delicious. From high highs to low lows, I think this might actually be one of the worst cookies I did this video. Ugh, we're gonna move on from the delicious icing to the nose. It's a red nose, so I think we can guess it's supposed to be Rudolph or a Rudolph imposter. I made the face too high, so his antlers look so stupid and it just doesn't, it doesn't look like Rudolph. I'm sorry, this was a fail. Patting his eyes, good boy. Up next, we have another bulb that I turned into a circle. So I'm filling this with some pink icing. And the idea for this one was to make it look like Santa Claus's outfit or his like belly, I guess. So this is his belt and he's got like a little white and a buckle. And this one was kind of simple, but I actually hate this one. So we're going to move on. Up next, we've got a classic Christmas star. Huh. Star of wonder, star of night, star of something beauty bright. That is not correct. Uh, did anyone try to see the Saturn-Jupiter conjunction? I tried to see it and it was like the smallest speck. It was like not even worth it. I feel like it was hyped up to the extreme and then I looked at it and it was like I could barely see it. Was it just me? Was it where I was in the world? I don't know. Did anyone see this star as bigger than anything but like the tiniest tiny speck? 
Up next, we have a tiny, unremarkable uh, snowman, but actually he came out quite cute. I was trying to make him look like Frosty the snowman, and I think I achieved it. Wow, just googled Frosty, and it's actually very different. Huh. Uh, speaking of Santa Claus... Oh wait, we weren't talking about Santa? <laughs> well, now we are. Uh, Santa visits my town every single year. They run around with, like, these, like, big, like, I don't know, trucks and make lots of noises in the town. And everyone gets really excited and goes outside and sees Santa. So I hear them coming. We're like, what the what's happening? Santa's here. So we go to run outside and my mom runs outside and somehow slams my head in the front door. And I'm telling you, this- I thought I had a concussion. She, like, almost, like, knocked me out. I almost fell over. I have, like, a giant bruise on the side of my head. And I didn't even get to see Santa. My mom didn't mean to do it, but yeah, I got my head slammed in a door trying to see Santa Claus. If I don't know how everyone else's Christmas is going. <laughs> so what I'm saying here is I hope you guys had better experiences with Santa Claus this year than I did. <laughs> I did have a good Christmas though, and I hope you guys had a very Merry Christmas. I know that this is being posted a couple days after Christmas, but Merry Christmas if I didn't say it to you guys already. Man, that story took a quick turn of events. It started one place and we just ended up somewhere completely different. Uh, so yeah, I made- I made this snowman. It's basically the ugly cousin for the content snowman. It looks like she has braces or something. Up next we have another bulb. This one is also a bulb turned into a circle. And I figured, since I already made Rudolph and Santa, it's only right to make an elf. A Santa elf? A Santa's elf? Why can I never speak? But I also hate this one, so I think I just hate the circle ones, or I hate the bulbs. Unclear, but that looks horrible to me. The real problem with this for me is that the yellow looks like cheese and the belt is just off-center. Moving on to the one and only bulb that I actually kept the bulb part on top of it. I decided to just make a blue Christmas bulb. I thought surely this one will just be easy, but I made a tragic mistake here. So I filled in like a little white line to do a highlight and that looked great. And I should have just left this like this, but I decided to use the metallic paint all over it. <sighs> Putting metallic paint on everything is a mistake in itself, but I also did it too early before the shell had hardened, and I cracked it. Ah, uh, moving on to one I love. Okay, I love the snowflakes. I did two snowflakes, two, and I really like them. I thought they turned out so cute. Okay, so I made this one white. After the first coat of white hardened, I took some light blue detail, and I used that to create some lines. Kind of like made like crosses, like big ones and small ones, and then made like little thingies on the outside. I am really not explaining this well. <sighs> and I did the same thing for the blue one, except I did the inverse of that. So I did blue for the background and then white for the detail work. After I finished both of the snowflakes in this duo, I took a silver metallic paint and painted the little dots on it. And I just thought this looked super cute together. I don't know, I love snowflakes, I love blue. And I think I these were probably one of my favorites. Oh wait, no, I take it back. These are my favorites. Okay, so I did two angels. One of them came out kind of badly and one of them came out kind of good. And I'll show you both of them. I love the angels. I don't know why. I just really like like the, the white, like, I don't know. Okay, so basically I gave it brown curly hair and I gave it white wings and I also gave it a white dress. I really wanted to make sure this one turned out good because I really like the angels. I just, I don't know why. I just like the shape. I thought it was interesting. Okay, so on the right, you can see I messed up the angel because I cracked her wing but I'm putting some metallic paints on the wings and also on the, the band. And part of the reason I really liked the angels was because of these arms. I gave it arms and hands, like praying hands. Is that not so cute? All right, guys, it's time for biggest losers, i.e. the ones I hate the most. So I hate the bulb for obvious reasons. It's cracked, I don't like the metal. I hate this one because I cracked its wing and I also don't like the cheeks I gave it. I hate this one because it doesn't even look like Rudolph. Its nose looks like chewed gum and I accidentally cracked the cheek right there. But these, oh my goodness, these. These are my favorite ones that I made. Yes, I have more cookies actually. After I did this video, I went back with my boyfriend Will and my mom and my sister Alina and we made more Christmas cookies. So if you want to see those, I'll be posting them on my Instagram. It's underscore Bellamina. You can follow me there. I'll also be posting these cookies as well and anything else that I 
feel like posting, I guess. I don't know, I post different arts and crafts things on my Instagram. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. I had so much fun making it and I hope you guys liked it too. I'll see you guys next week for another video. Bye. Now you can watch part one if you haven't yet. <laughs>